Welcome back to Stone Cold Showcase. I accidentally played through the bonus match realizing I wasn't recording, so that happened. So we're going to go on to Stone Cold vs. Bret Hart, and I'm going to keep my mouth shut whenever a video package is on. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. It's the king of the ring. I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list. And I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold sets up. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, Stone Cold Spurs. Oh, come on. There you go. Come on. Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory. The crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series... I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, and I will beat Stone Cold, the rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, We'll watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. That whole ass before the hitman thing, man, that always gets me, huh? I always think that's one of the funniest things that's uh, that's ever been said in wrestling. Do know I'm gonna need two Stone Cold Stunners throughout this match, so I'm not even I'm gonna go through the objectives, but getting storing two finishers is my priority. I'm actually just gonna skip through these. Uh, these uh, entrances, no point in making this longer than it needs to be, especially when none of this, it's just an entrance really, there's not much we're missing, however, I do want to point out with Bret Hart, he's got one hell of a hairline there, and a shiny forehead, it's just immaculate. I wonder if this is a match Bret Hart would rate for. Well, this should be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret the Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one on one. This is a rivalry. That has been Classic ring bell. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. This should be great. Bret the Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound. Austin likes to brawl. Oh, likes yeah. To, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. You're number one in the Hart. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here they go. The I'm surprised they, don't, they didn't censor that. They'll censor the WWF, but they won't censor that. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asked for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh-oh. 
I think timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension, you can feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. Let's just go straight into this. So you've got to hit him with a stun gun, which is a fairly simple thing to do. As soon as he gets up, we're going to grapple him so we can uh, hopefully get this over as soon as we can. So of course, just grapple, put him right into the ropes. And then you can get straight into the stun gun. So we'll get that first objective out of the way as soon as possible. And then we just move straight into damaging him, which is always the easiest part. But I think Brett has... Yeah, he's got five reversals, so we're, I'm hoping for him to use his reversals first. Because it can be tough once you're behind in the count of... Uh, if you're behind in the count on reversals, it's bad because as soon as you use all of them, you just have you just get to take punishment the entire time. So just keeping it pretty simple, really. You just keep damaging him non-stop. I don't know how that didn't count as a reversal, but whatever. <laughs> So we can, I'm just gonna get a little taunt here, get some momentum going, just for, and just to recharge some of my stamina as well, because stamina is very key in this. You never want to use too much. I'll take a, I'll, I'll use the reversal. There we go. Grapple a supine right at his head in the ring. So of course, supine meaning we've got to get him down onto his back. So this should do it, and then just grapple him at his head, and then beat, and then get the quick time event. So that's a pretty simple one. That's the problem I have with some of these showcase things. It becomes just a glorified quick time event. So what's our next? Damage Bret Hart at ringside. So we're going to throw him outside the ring. If the count's getting high, we're just going to roll back into the ring and then roll right out. And we've almost got our, all of our reversals back. Got to get him right back out to the outside and see if I can even hit a Luthez press on him. Not the most of a Luthez press, followed by a flurry of right hands. So now we've got one of our finishers. We don't want to use it yet, even though it's it will put, finish this objective right away. We don't want to use it yet because I know I'm pretty sure the next objective is to use a finisher. So I don't want to use it just yet. Huh, that might have realigned the spine permanently. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost the form a stunner in the ring and pin Bret Hart. Objects. Will we see the Stone Cold Stunner? Will that be the move that puts Bret Hart down tonight? I could very well be. I'm sure that's what Austin is looking for. Man, and there we go. Get our stunner. Go straight for the pin. Because I know I'm going to have to do another one. <laughs> Former charge finisher, which is why I said we need a second stunner. Now, unfortunately, we've got to build our way all the way back up. And for some reason, our, uh, our reversal isn't regenerating. Okay, there it goes. So we're just going to get a couple taunts in. Oh, there's a reversal. <laughs> so we are ahead in the count right now for reversal, so I'm going to try and get one right away. Here. It out, perhaps here. 
That's not actually. Oh. Okay. So we are ahead in the count by two reversals now, which is exactly what we want. And hopefully we can get him to use his last one. So far we got the match going quite well. Uh, oh crap, he's gonna, he's gonna get up. <laughs> Let's just get right into this. So now he's out of reversal, so I'm I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. So I just got a few. He can't reverse me at all right now, so I'm just gonna keep stomping him. Okay, that's not where I want Bret Hart right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let him get back up. I don't know if there's a way that I can just move that signature straight into becoming a finisher. Get straight into the Luthez press. You need two reversals in order to get out of a finisher. But, um, of course, with him only at one, it's the perfect time to use this. Million Dollar Dream, but it's countered by Hart. Hart puts his shoulders down and breaks the Hitman Hart. Countered Austin and pins the Rattlesnake. Hart has earned a shot now at the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin had that had that finishing maneuver locked in, but he wouldn't let go when, when Hart was on the ropes. That's what really cost him the victory. The Million Dollar Dream cost Austin maybe a million dollars. This rivalry is far from over. I guarantee you that, my guy. Into the end of that match as soon as. Of course, WrestleMania 13. Uh, we all know what happens in this one. Uh, that iconic image of just Austin just bleeding nonstop out of the face, which I think. I think Stone Cold only ever beat Bret Hart once. And we definitely know it was in this match. This is uh, one of two Austin losses at WrestleMania. So when we come back for the next episode, we're going to be taking on Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13. Thank you for watching with me. Uh, thank you all for watching, and take care.